That's a lot of light. All right, so in the daylight, bright sun, you can still see them quite well. Well, let's have a look inside. Uh, see what this bad boy looks like. Packaging looks good. Got a little uh, piece of information in here. Let's see about getting this sucker out of here. This is definitely packed. All right. So removing that top piece of foam, we get to the to the mirrors, and uh, looks like everything arrived in one piece without any breakage. Wasn't any damage. A little bit of damage to the box right here. But uh, mirrors and the cables, plugs. These things actually have some weight to them. I wasn't expecting the box to be quite as heavy as it is, so I was impressed with that. And uh, that's solid, very solid. I feel uh, I feel solid like the factory mirrors do. I'm gonna get them out of the box. Okay, besides the mirrors and the harness that comes on the mirrors, there's in the box these two bundles here, and that's going to be for uh, brake light, turn signal, you know, stuff like that. That's added to it. Some zip ties, some of the mounting hardware, and another set. So I guess one set for each side. I do believe those are the nuts that hold the mirror on and replace the factory nuts. Yeah, all in all, it's a good looking quality. Very small amount of stuff there, but that's all we need. And that's gonna be all that's in the box. There is no included instructions. So this video is probably gonna be your guys' instruction. All right, we got them all outside in the Tahoe. I got my little wiring package to do the um, reverse lights. And I got the lights, or the, <laughs> I got the mirrors in here. Now on my Tahoe, I've, uh, I've modified the door panels to accept these two six and a halfs. So it's a little bit different, but all the hookups and stuff are the same. You guys wanted a detailed uh, installation on the, on pulling off the door panels and crap. There's about a thousand videos on the internet showing how to take these door panels off but essentially you pull off a little cover right under here take out uh, one or two 10 millimeters there's another one behind here this little panel you pop that off there's another 10 millimeter you have to back this little clip off right here to pull this latch off and then you get an exposed screw sticking up and then uh, once you get the door panel popped loose you can, on yours, you'll be able to reach up on here and grab this and pop this out and unplug the wire there and then plug the new mirror in here, okay? Behind this little panel right here, you'll pop it off and there's three bolts. So after removing that little panel, you can see there's a 10 millimeter there. And under here, there's normally two 10 millimeters, but I only have one. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that off and I'll get my screwdriver in here. And oh, uh, you, you might want to make sure your windows are rolled down so that in case you lock yourself out of your vehicle you can reach in and unlock it <laughs> all right so once you get all the bolts out you pop your panel off you get to the inside of the door normally you'll have a, a water shield in here i don't have one um, but what you want to get to you take a little triangle off a little cell panel you get to these three bolts you're gonna need a 10 millimeter for them too you may need a deep well now that shallow one will work so you're gonna need a 10 millimeter for everything you do in here. And you're also gonna to wanna to have some door panel tools to pop that door panel off. Then we wanna get that off, take the old mirror off, which is just those three bolts. We're gonna run the new mirror in, take, take, chase this wire down right here, and unplug it from the back of this panel right here, which I've still got attached. And uh, I'll show you that in a minute. When you're taking these loose, uh, you wanna leave one finger tight so you can take all take the other ones off but leave pick one of them and leave them finger tight so that you can reach out there and hold the mirror and take that last one off so that you don't drop your uh, factory mirror you'll see that on the uh, 
the blue and white wire right there on the back of this controller that's the one we're going to unplug right there the first the one that's on the left of the screen right now we're going to unplug that one the one that says nor black you notice there's a blue a white and a black that's important later then we're going to take the panel tool and reach behind these connectors where it connects to the door and pop those out of there all right so after you get the old mirror pulled off you reverse the process and put the new mirror back on run the wire through the hole and you should end up with something that looks like this uh, then we're going to go through the process of wiring this up now what we want to do is we want to run this wire in a similar fashion to the original you'll notice there's no clips on this wire the kit also comes with uh, these little tiny wire ties so you put your wire in the little You put your wire in this little recessed area and then you run your zip tie through it the back of it you can see there's light through there you run your zip tie around the wire in this and then you can attach the wire to the door similar to the way the factory was it's a good system i'm not going to use it but it is a good system so the kit does come with all the necessary ingredients for that but we want to run it right down this is where the old one ran we want to run it right down the same way and then over this way so then it's going to simply plug in it's going to go up through this hole below the uh, deal here up through there like so and uh and then i'm going to plug it in that same first plug right there that says nyor black all right now we got that wire plugged in we still got the white and black one to plug in but the next thing we want to do is go ahead and turn the key on and select the mirror and see if it moves and it does i want to make sure it works so just with that plug plugged into the uh, back of the controller we have the turn signal indicators and we have the turn signal indicators out here and they look really cool so we haven't even hooked up this other wire. The other wire is going to be for the reverse lights, which are out here on the edge of the mirror. For the reverse light part, we're going to need to plug this into this wire here. And this is going to run under the hood to the fuse box. Now I'm going to use my drill to make that wire more manageable. So I just tie the wire to the door over there. Uh-oh, I got caught. There we go tie the wire to the wire over there and then I put it in my drill shut and we're going to give it a little twist now we want this wire to run through this hole out this hole and then into this boot right here and out the top of this boot up under the dash right there run it through the boot zip tie clothes hanger whatever you got make it go through the boot and come out underneath the dash same thing on the other side now this little wire plugs into that plug that comes in from the mirror so we'll plug that bad boy in once you come up through this hole where your controls are plug it into there and then put the controls back together and since we don't have these tabs on here to hold this wire in place I'm going to use a zip tie to zip tie it about right here, leaving myself plenty of slack to take the door panel off in the future so that it doesn't get involved with anything down there. All right, so now that I got those secure, uh, it looks something like this so that I got plenty of slack to pull the door panel out, and uh, but they're still going to be held up in here nice and secure and out of the way. All right, got one on, one to go. Let's get the other side, and then we'll do the wiring for the backup light. It's important to note that my Tahoe, which is an LT, didn't come with uh, mirrors that had turn signals in them. The mirrors don't have them at all, but the harness has power to that. So whenever you plug in these new mirrors, you're going to get the turn signals just like you would had you bought it from the factory that way. Cool, right? 
Okay, so I got the other mirror off on this pasture side. Now the first thing I want to do is be sure you got the pad off over here and then feed your wire through the hole and uh, put the mirror in place. But if you got one of these window lead shields like I do, uh, you kind of have to slide it underneath that. You don't have to take it off, but you do have to uh, kind of go underneath it. And when you get it underneath it, you're good to go. All right, we got her up here. Got our bolts back on, same as before. We're gonna get the door panel propped up. If you pull it up and set it like all these little black feet down there and those holes, you can kind of have your body in the spot and you can work on stuff without having to hold the door panel up. And you can take all this stuff and unplug it. Like you can unplug the power wires, the controls and take the window or the door uh, handle mechanism off right here. But I don't bother with that. All you have to do is release this little clip right here. And you pull this thing out and then swing it out this way and it'll come out of this hole. I don't bother with it. I just leave the door panels loose and work on it that way. All right, so I got to get my crimper and crimp this on here to uh, a nice piece of wire. And that's a 5 amp fuse. I'm probably going to replace it with a 10 or a 7 or something like that. But you want to have a heavy enough gauge to be able to carry a little bit of current because you're going to be powering some lights. They're not big current draw, but I'm going to go ahead and crimp this up. I'll show you what we got. All right, I got my connection made and I got it heat shrinked up. So now I just need to figure out how much wire I need. All right, so once we tapped the fuse, we ran our wire back inside. What you're going to be looking for in the fuse box is the uh, uh, number 10 if you have a gas engine. I don't remember what the diesel one is, but it's the uh, towing reverse light. So uh, it'll be... Uh, Right beside that fuse, there'll be the regular reverse lights. And then beside it will be the, the number 10 will be the towing reverse light. You're looking for that fuse. And you're going to use a, uh, a fuse tap, plug it into that fuse spot, and then put the fuse into that and run that wire on the inside. That's where you're going to get your power to uh, trigger your and to power your reverse lights. Throw a boot back here. And you won't be able to see. It's down in there. I started neaten that part up. Once you do that, pull that wire inside and you pull your passenger door wire behind the console and then tie it up under the dash. Pull the the driver's side through the boot in here. I'll get them all in one spot. Alright, so I got my grounds run under here. I got both of them attached right here and I got my positives both attached to this yellow wire running from in the fuse box under the hood. Now I'm going to fold these up and tuck them up in here and zip tie them up out of the way and they'll be good to go in that department. Alright so in the daylight, bright sun, you can still see them quite well. I think they look really good. So yeah, in the sunlight, bright sun, those turn signals are looking real good on those mirrors. That's the hazard zone right now. All right, so here we are. I'm gonna get over here where I can get to the thing. Put it in reverse. There's the lights. Park, reverse. Park. Good times all around. Alright guys, it's starting to get dark out here, so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what the backup lights look like on the mirrors. It doesn't look that dark in the camera, but um, yeah, I don't know. Anyway, uh, I'll show what they look like. <laughs> oh, and by the way, my actual backup lights on the Tahoe aren't working right now got an issue with them so all the light that you're gonna see is just coming from the mirrors see I just unlocked the uh, Tahoe so it's got the backup lights on that's the backup lights from the mirrors all that light right there 
That's how bright they are. Look at that. I'll do it again here in a second. So, lock it back up. All right, we'll do it again. So here's what it looks like without the lights. That's the backup lights. Is that crazy or what? That's a lot of light. Let's see if I can get it turned off. There we go. Now the camera adjusts for the for the nighttime as you see how it brightened up. So look at that. <laughs> Those things are intense, man. That's some serious backup light. And you can see there's no backup lights on back here. They would be on. crazy in it it's lighting up that house over there the cars over there nuts <laughs> so here we go with one more shot that's a lot of light <laughs> and uh, I think they look pretty awesome what do you guys think? Pretty killer. And good visibility. They don't look too big. And of course, they do have the ability to do the slide. So you can get the extended mirrors if you need to extend out for towing a trailer. Which is the idea. And these things feel like they're made out of solid iron. I mean, they don't have any give at all to them. Very, very solid. Um, I'm impressed with them. They actually are sturdier than the factory ones. The fit and finish around this seam right here feels real good. This whole piece looks really factory and looks really good. So, yeah, 100% win, man. So, I'm going to go ahead and adjust the mirrors. Or they feel good to me. There we go. I haven't adjusted the bottom ones. The bottom ones are manual. You you just push on them to adjust them. I haven't adjusted them, but that looks pretty good for right now. Uh, so we're going to take a little test drive. Uh, see what they look like on the road. They offer a real good traffic pattern back there. And this bottom one, I'm going to have it just a little bit more out. But, uh... up a little bit gives me a little bit less of a blind spot on this a-pillar so a little bit more that I can see right in here because I have a pretty big a-pillar with my my pods and all that but uh, yeah let's get it on the interstate
Yeah, I've been through my dark tinted windows. You can see that light flashing over there. Well, I don't know if the camera's picking it up or not, but I'll see if I can get this other one over here to do it. See if we can pick it up. Yeah, you can see it. See there? And these windows are tinted 20% up here, so they're pretty dark. I got 5% back in the back. It's, this thing's so dark in here. Yeah, you can see the flasher through there. That's good. Good stuff, man. I got my bottom mirrors adjusted a little bit better now, so uh, got a nice view back here.